So I wanted to talk about my favourite publishing house, McSweeney's Publishing, which publishes a number of things, annuals and quarterlies, uh, a magazine, and they have a new book out about them at the moment, which is why I've decided to talk about them right now. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of an example of some of the stuff that they do, however, because what they're famous for is not just the content that they publish, but the manner in which they publish it. So the way in which it's delivered to you, how you devour it, devour it is equally as important to what it is you're eating. Um, they do things like this, which is plastic covers, two books in a plastic cover. One half is about the Iraq War, a first-hand account, and the second half is short stories. They're all published at pretty, uh, sorry, priced pretty well, like that's $38. And the point of view of the Iraqi soldier is, is quite unique and uncensored. They also do a magazine, The Believer, which you may or may not have heard of, which is an extremely interesting literary magazine. Uh, it's filled with interviews, letters, articles. They have no creative restrictions on themselves. So if the topic demands 17 pages, then the topic receives 17 pages. It is about the importance of delivering the information, but again, in a beautiful way. Interestingly, they limit themselves to a color palette of four and work within that, playing around on the idea that when you limit yourself creatively, you often come up with the most interesting designs. They have just out, or Tate has just published on McSweeney's Publishing House, a collection of their work mm, around the quarterlies that they do and the short stories. I don't know how much you can see it there, but it's a big, beautiful hardback cover, incredibly well priced at $84, in a very McSweeney's turn of fate. The cover comes off and turns into a poster. They're known for doing these sort of crazy origami-esque packaging on their books. It's a book as object, just as much as book as functionality and content. This book is filled with all of the covers, interviews with the illustrators, the designers, and it's compiled by the editors. So it's a bird's eye view of why, who, and how, and it's a, it's a stunningly good looking book. It's got a lot of good content in there as well. Anyone who's interested in design, literature, publishing, this is definitely for you. Um, just another connection to the McSweeney's Publishing House, in case you didn't know already, it was started by and is still run by Dave Eggers, who's famously known for writing the screenplay for Where the Wild Things Are, the Spike Jones movie. Uh, he also has done some really interesting talks, and we'll give a link to one of these. It's a talk that he did on TED, which is the Technology, Education and Design website. Uh, and he also authored one of my favourite titled books of all times, a heartbreaking work of staggering genius, which is his autobiographical, slightly fictional first book, as well as he wrote What is the What, another awesome uh, fiction title. So overall, a beautiful publishing house and a pretty awesome guy.